हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सिलेक्टर सब एन क्रो पाथ वी ऑल राइट एक्स पाथ एन सी एस एस सेलेक्टर मोस्टली इन ब्राउजर डेब टूल्स एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी यूज टू वेरीफाई लाइक डूइंग बाई डूइंग कमांड एफ फाइन और इन कॉन्सो लाइक डॉलर एक्स और डॉलर 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 बट लेट मी टेल यू गाइज दैट दिस इज wrong fundamentally fundamentally it is wrong this is not the right way of verifying x path and css selector because it doesn't give the right information unfortunately due to lack of innovations and awareness it has never been discussed and it has never been taught to us that these platforms are not the right platform to verify x path and css selector we kept on saying that we are expert in writing x path and css selector but we never understood that the way we are writing and verifying is actually wrong let me show you this practically and uh, the very basic fundamental concept and i hope like you will uh, learn from this one and in fact like even when i was writing the automation script in my uh, early age of automation I used to do the same thing. Like I used to do command F and here immediately start writing selector or do uh, or just go to console and there they're verifying. But that was wrong. That approach and that that fundamentally it is wrong. Let me show you why. So let's say we inspect this element here. And here for this element, suppose we write the uh, X path. and actually this is inside shadow rom so let's write directly uh, css selector so for this element id is input so we can write hashtag #input and then there you see that it is showing 0 0 though this is a right selector for this element and let's see what we get in console so here you see that in console if we do dollar and hashtag #input see it is showing null and there is another uh, way that you can let me show this as well hashtag #input few people do this way and it is showing it is also not getting any result dollar when we use dollar this is something like a find element it will get the very first matching node dollar dollar it will get all the matching node so bo in both the cases it's not getting any result here Though this is the right selector, now how to verify this? To solve this fundamentally fundamental problem, the fundamental concept, I invented selector sub, which solves your all your selectors, all your X path problems and gives the right result. Let's write the same selector. Let me just copy and paste the same selector over here, and you see press enter. Here it is showing you one element matching, and it's highlighting as well. so this gives you the right information and if you expand it you will get all those information that this element is inside shadow rom and for such element it will also help you that x path won't support suppose if you write x path here and let me just copy the x path what uh, this generate dev tools so you also learn you will also learn from here that what x path and selectors every time dev tools generate that's also not correct because this is this element is inside shadow rom so it should have not generated the x path and here when we verifying it is showing 0 of 0 it's not telling you that whether this is wrong or right and let me uh, put this value here and verify in console as well and show you that you see uh, here it is so it double goes two times let me put single single is giving blank it's not letting us know that this is wrong for this element x path won't support let put this same thing here and press enter here selector sub in selector sub you see that it let us know that x path doesn't support shadow rom so it letting us know that this element inside shadow rom for such element x path won't support so we will have to have to write css selector and we'll have to use the css selector so that you can immediately build and verify so this is where the very fundamental problem that the way you verify your x path and css selector in console or in command f is not right 
it it doesn't mean that i'm not saying that uh, that dev tools is wrong or what information they uh, uh, dev tools is giving that is wrong no the fund dev tools is not just meant and built to verify xpath and css selector it has other functionalities as well along with it like you see that if you ever notice that it says that find by a string selector or xpath so even if like uh, a string will match then also it will show the result like here console it is not just for uh, just meant for uh, verifying it has a lot of functionality in it and that is the reason that many a times you don't get the right result and suppose like for this element if you will keep trying like this way you will be scratching your head what is the reason that is not working and it will you will definitely waste a lot of time and then you will realize that this is uh, inside shadow dom so this is not the way to verify selectors and all so there you will waste a lot of time and then you will have to execute the script and all that way you would be able to verify but that will by that way you will waste a lot of time and many a times you will just give up you won't understand that why it is failing why it's not giving me the result neither xpath is working neither css selector is showing any result though we, though you are writing the right selector so this is the right platform selector sub is the right platform to write and verify selectors another thing like a uh, very simple example if you verify here because it is in very much our uh, practice and you will see that most of the time uh, what uh, i mean what we were teaching in the past that we used to most of the time do command f and immediately suppose we have to find all the links in this page google.com what is in our practice we do command f and then immediately start typing double forward slash e but you if you notice that this is not an anchor tag this is a script tag and here it is matching this string double forward slash a and that is the reason that it is also including in the matching count and showing as a result 76 match but actually are there 76 match it is also matching this double forward slash a this everything it is matching you see that are they anchor tag no they are not anchor tag so actually there are not 76 link on this page if you go and open selector sub and here you do double forward slash a there are actually just 36 links and what are all those links that information you will get it here so this is the right platform to verify and write this css selector this is the standard platform so what i am trying to make everyone understand that due to lack of innovation in the past due to lack of awareness what we were doing that was not right we did that in past okay that's fine but please try to understand that uh, that is not the right platform and if you are teaching your students if you are teaching your viewers on youtube or any other uh, platform then please show your student where to write and verify selectors in a right way and also you you can do that it's not that uh, we we should not use an xpath tool or something like that that definition has changed now because whatever we were doing that was fundamentally fundamentally that was wrong and that was we were getting the wrong information because of that and actually like unfortunately we have wasted a lot of time just to write the like in these kind of scenarios we have wasted a lot of time there were many scenarios if i will start explaining each one of them it will take me whole day to explain all those scenarios that we are all we have wasted a lot of time unknowingly and we were thinking like we are doing it right but in such kind of situation there are like lot of scenarios like in place in case of iframe if you are writing uh, x path something like let's say we have to write an x path for this element this one uh, this element what immediately you will do you do we do command f and then copy this and immediately we do like this and you will see that most of the uh, uh, videos like what has created in the past due to lack of innovation and awareness on youtube you will find that still people are teaching this way that the double forward slash a at the rate class is equal to d now here it is showing six result are there six element no why it is showing six because in it is including like when you will verify it in dev tools it will include all the elements inside iframe outside iframe at top level iframe but actually this is the unique xpath for this element 
let's verify this in selector so sorry copy this one or how quickly you can build you see that a smart editor with the help of a smart editor and you see that this is actually one element only one matching node so this you will directly use it but if you would have keep verifying it here you would have keep trying keep trying to make it unique and you won't be able to make it unique and you will and at the end of the day like you will you would have wasted a lot of time just to verify this element so please try to understand that where to verify where to write selectors don't do it in like uh, now uh, don't waste time to like getting the wrong information and keep trying keep making your selectors unique because if you would have verified it here you will keep keep on trying to make it unique though this is a unique x path so hope this will help you and in case of like there are nested iframe if there are nested iframe then this is really tough in those kind of scenarios like if you see that this is inside nested iframe two nested iframe if you would have written the x path for this element and verify here or in console you might never got you will never get that information inside how many iframes are this whether that is a unique x path or not it will waste off lot of time and energy and getting the wrong information so i hope uh, this has helped a lot and uh, helped to clear the fundamental concept of uh, verifying and writing the x path and the phrase that with we are writing our own x path what does that mean because when we say that we write our own x path we actually we are saying that we write our own x path either here or here in console we always use an x path tool which was like dev tools to verify we never write in uh, we never wrote it on notepad or on paper on pen we always start writing here selectors and verify them before using it using it in our script so please uh, write and verify it in the right platform and spread the awareness that what is uh, the right platform i would really request all the youtubers all the trainers please teach your student in a right way now as like in the past we were not having any innovation there were uh, things which were not working in the right way so we considered that dev tools is the right platform and the standard platform to write and verify selectors so it's my humble request please spread this awareness and help people to learn the right things to do in a right way and i hope you loved it and you enjoyed this one and selectors will help you a lot in learning and to clear the fundamental concepts of each and everything it will help you like when you will inspect any element it will let you know that this is svg element this element inside shadow dom for such element x path won't support each and everything because svg also doesn't support the standard format of x path so all those things you, it will help a lot in learning and verifying with the fundamental right information which you will never get from the console and from like very by verifying from here so hope this uh, help a lot and it this information will help you a lot to clear the fundamental concepts of verifying and writing x path and what is the meaning of writing and verifying x path when we say that we are writing our own x path so with that thank you thank you so much and please uh, if you enjoy that video please share like and you can subscribe to the channel for more such latest innovation and the information about such kind of uh, videos and fundamental concept thank you